Hey yo, it's Brian here today talking about the San Francisco 49ers as always talking about the injury report and some final thoughts for this game against the Packers happening this Sunday in the NFC Championship game. I can't wait for this matchup. Hope you guys are excited as well. Levi Stadium, hope you guys are going to get really loud if you're going to the game. Every single week I've been hearing San Francisco get louder and louder and louder and louder. The Vikings game, it was pretty loud in San Francisco, Santa Clara, Levi Stadium. So hopefully if you're going to the game, you guys get loud because it's going to be a very good thing for the 49ers if you do that. Anyways, going to just talk about some things, the injury report, not too much for this game in particular, and also just some legacy stuff, some history stuff for Aaron Rodgers in particular. I think that's a really important topic for me personally because I do love me some Aaron Rodgers. I also do love me some history of the NFL, 100 years, and I love to be a student of the game, student of history and what have you. So I will be talking about that in a second. Anyways, got my t-shirt right here. Look at the San Francisco 49ers ready for the game. And I can't wait to see the 49ers hopefully win this game and hopefully make it to the Super Bowl for the first time in 2012. And go to the Super Bowl, win it, and win it for the first time since 1994 when Steve Young was the quarterback. I wasn't even born back then to watch the 49ers win their last Super Bowl. So hopefully this is the one that the 49ers win and I can experience a Super 49ers winning a Super Bowl in my lifetime. That would be cool, right? And you guys in lifetime as well. Anyways, going to get the video started. But before I do, please like and subscribe. Do all that cool stuff. That definitely helps me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Do all that cool stuff. Let's get this video started. 49ers versus Packers. Injury report, final thoughts for this game. First of all, let's talk about the injury report. This is going to be really quick just because of the fact everyone in the injury report for the 49ers and Packers looks really terribly healthy. Nobody's listed as doubtful or out for this game. D4, Quan Alexander, those two guys I'm a little bit worried about, I guess, just because a little more precautionary things, but they're ready to go for the most part. George Kittle, he had a little bit of mishap with his ankle injury, but he looks like he's ready to go. For the Packers side, the only person that's listed as questionable is Danny Vitale, the fullback. But other than that, everyone's listed as ready to go, full participation, limited participation, and they're ready to go for this matchup. I know I'm saying that many, many times now. Fully healthy matchup. I can't wait to see this. And there'll be no excuse of, oh, somebody was out for the rest of the game or rest of the season or whatever. So, you know, it's it's good to see both teams being fully healthy, fully charged for this matchup. The bye weeks have been really instrumental for both teams and their victories in the divisional round. I expect it's going to be really helpful for the NFC Championship game and potentially the Super Bowl. 49ers, Packers, NFC Championship. Ah, man, I can't wait for it. Hopefully the defense does show up. I'm ready for it. And speaking of the final thoughts for this game, definitely pressure Aaron Rodgers, definitely pressure Aaron Jones. You could stop the run. Then you're going to have to make Aaron Rodgers throw the ball, which that's not really a problem to him, but at the same time, you know, to, just to get the pressure that they did in week 12 as much as they can to replicate in this game, I think that'd be the best thing for the 49ers just because the fact, I mean, defensively, when everyone's healthy, nobody can stop this pass rush. And we'll see if Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers had they schemed anything up to s stop this relentless pass rush. And even that, you got the linebackers you got to deal with with Quan Alexander, Dre Greenlaw, Fred Warner, also the secondary backfield with Richard Sherman. I mean, it's a pretty complete defense, I would say. I mean, this is even more complete than the Fangio defenses, I would say, from years ago. This is just, oh, man. I don't know what else to say about this defense. When it's fully healthy, this is the team you want to take to the Super Bowl, definitely. Offensively for the 49ers, I mean, the really the only thing that's really concerning to me is Jimmy Garoppolo and the turnovers. I mean, you guys know that by now. It's almost a given now that he's going to throw an interception some way, shape, or form in this game. He's been, you know, doing that all season long. It's not really the best, but at the same time, he's a he's a risk taker. He's a gunslinger. Like 90% of the time will work up, but 10% of the time it can lead to an interception, a turnover. So, you know, Jimmy G, I always stress in this game or every single game, I should say, please don't turn the ball over as much as possible. Please score touchdowns. Wouldn't that be amazing? The running game, definitely Raheem Mostert, Tevin Coleman, Matt Breedo, those guys you have to rely on. Debo Samuel doing jet sweeps and what have you. And, I mean, what else to say about this game? 49ers, the only way I see them losing this game is if they just beat themselves with turnovers and just, I don't know, just not playing disciplined football. Other than that, I see the 49ers winning this game. I don't know if it's, it might be in convincing fashion, hopefully, but... We'll see what happens then. Is it going to be like a blow like the Vikings? Potentially, just because I think roster-wise, the 49ers on paper, from top to bottom, may, except for the quarterback position, they are better than the Packers, in my opinion. Just Aaron Rodgers, he's the big X factor for the Packers. If he can't do, get anything going, if Aaron Jones can't get anything going, if he's getting pressured all day like he did in Week 12 on Sunday Night Football, then I expect the 49ers to win pretty easily, in my opinion. So, I don't expect that to happen. I don't, I don't expect the Packers to get bullied like they did in Week 12. I'm ex I know that they're motivated from watching their ter terrible performance against the 49ers in week 12 so I expect a much better game but at the same time from roster wise I accept the quarterback position the 49ers are better than the Packers and let's talk about Aaron Rodgers just a little bit because he is one of my favorite quarterbacks outside of the 49ers and what have you he doesn't he's done a lot of great things for the NFL done a lot of great things this season I mean the clutch plays they do they do kind of worry me a little bit if it comes down to the two-minute warning two-minute drill and what have you because he, this guy can make stuff happen but 
Yeah, I mean, you look at his career right now, one Super Bowl victory, great and all, but at the same time, his playoff record was about 5-6 and six or 6-6, six and six, which is pretty mediocre after the Super Bowl win. So, I mean, if he wants to be a pantheon of one of the great quarterbacks in NFL history, he definitely has to win this game, and he definitely has to win the Super Bowl against either Kansas City or Tennessee. So, we'll see if he can do that. I don't know, it's going to be really tough, but if he's that quarterback, if he's the GOAT and what have you, he has to stop this defense definitely because Robert Salah and the defensive players, they are just going to get at him all day. And if he could just stop him some way, shape, or form, then it's going to be a good thing for him and, his, for, and for his legacy as well. So, you know, it's a lot on the line for him. And Jimmy Garoppolo, a lot on the line for him as well. I mean, to, I don't know, getting paid a lot of money. That's really the thing I can see the most with him. But other than that, I mean, he is the franchise quarterback. He's done everything great for the 49ers except the turnover. 